Uh, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. You've clearly clicked on this video because the title says I am fitting a Z01 Bono to my HSV wagon. And I've done exactly that. This is not the car, this is my old SS. It is a few days later. We done this probably like, actually probably two weeks ago. Uh, it's just been hella busy with YouTube, TikToks. I've been traveling, sadly had to go to a family funeral, but we're back baby. Uh, if you do like these type of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm not gonna waste your time because you're about to see some crazy shit on the HSV. It is all cosmetics. Like it's just to make it look pretty. There's no no performance mods going in yet. I think in the next three or four weeks, we're gonna push 750 horsepower to the rear, which is fucking crazy. Two inch headers, a four inch cat back, a cam. It's gonna sound crazy. So make sure you guys stick around for that. Um, but let's get into all these cosmetic mods, baby. All right, let's get this shit. We just pulled up now. And we're gonna go, fuck, it's raining. We're gonna go suss it out. They might wanna put these on before they put it on to here. I don't know, cause I'll have to measure it out and whatnot. I thought I'd get them to do it because it saves me doing it. I don't know if you guys know, but I put the R8 badge on the back and people were commenting, did you do it with one shoe? Because it's on a fucking wonk. I rush shit. I'm like, I'll do one side perfect and then the other side I'll be like, ugh, oh, that's, that's about right. Boom, and you can't do that. All right, let's get this bonded on. I just looked at my wrist, I got time today. Fuck it, I'm crossing the line. So we went for a satin black. This is obviously the gloss white. I was gonna go gloss, but I'm gonna get my roof wrapped on Thursday, which could be a part of this vlog as well. I'll just do some videos on my phone. That's gonna be satin as well. And then the trimming around the window, which is actually chrome, that's gonna get deleted to satin. And then these ones, I had the option between this and gloss, but it won't be these ones. Kind of close. I think that's a little bit darker. When they're off to the side, you won't notice that much. This is pretty much what it's going to look like. And then uh, the HSV badge goes in the front there like that. Will you see what I'm talking about? Imagine that on the car. Yeah, man. I don't like niggas, I don't like bitches, I don't like nobody, nobody, nobody. We can get gangster, we can keep it cordial, how you wanna go back? How you wanna do it? I don't backtrack, man, fuck that. I don't miss nobody, I don't miss nothing. Left it on scene, I ain't right back, I don't trust nobody. I just looked at my right, boys, so we picked up the bonnet, it looks fucking sick, but like I said, they kind of fucked me around because they said it was gonna be done within like 48 hours. And I was like, alright, that's a bit quick. And then they said it'll be done by Monday. I went to pick it up Monday, then they said Tuesday, which is today. And then they were like, alright, 10 a.m. And then I called them, I was like, you sure 10 a.m.? And they're like, no, 11.30. Like, all right, 11.30. I pulled up, they fucked the paint on the black at the top of it. They said, oh, sorry, bro, a little bit of an issue, blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right, no stress. And then it's been raining all day. I asked if he could fit it. And then he said, nah, bro, we can't fit it. So I got somebody else to fit it. Like I called them up, had it, had it ready to go. And then he's like, yeah, we can fit it. So I came here, picked it up, it was fucked up. And then he said, we can't fit it because the rain is gonna ruin it. Although he said he could fit it and it's been raining all day. Do you know what I mean? It's so stressful. I just hate wasting my time and even worse, I hate when other people waste my time. A tip for you boys, it's not just me complaining, is if you are doing a service, try and under promise and over deliver. So I'd prefer him to say, hey bro, it's gonna take a week. You'll be able to pick it up Friday. And then he calls me up tomorrow, which is Wednesday, and say, hey brother, I get it done early. Do you know what I mean? Because if you keep delaying shit, it makes you look bad. Anyways, like whatever, it is what it is. It got done, it looks fucking mad. I'm stoked with it. Um, but just for you boys, if you're trying to make it in a service, doing a career or whatever, say you're gonna do this and then do that. Or say you're gonna do this and then do better. Do you know what I mean? Because then you don't get frustrated customers. But anyways, looks sick, all good. It's Tuesday right now, we're gonna wrap it up here. And like I said, we're gonna pick it up Friday because this week is fucking busy as shit. But I'm gonna get that installed tomorrow, and then, which is Wednesday. And then Thursday, I'm getting my roof wrapped and around the lining of the windows. And then Friday, we're gonna pick this back up. So when I see you guys next, the, the car's gonna look different. It's gonna look fucking mad, and I can't wait. So I'll see you guys then. All right, boys, today has been back and forth and around the fucking world for my car. Obviously, we went and got the bonnet, a little bit of a mix up there. And then we were meant to get my car wrapped tomorrow, but he can't do tomorrow, so we're doing it right now. It's night time. It's still the same day. It's Tuesday. Like I said, we're doing the roof satin black to match the bonnet, which is in the boot right there. And then the trimming around the windows, which is also going to look fucking sick. Tomorrow, we're going to pick that up. Instead of doing it Friday, we're now doing it tomorrow because the bonnet can get fixed. Bro, it's all over the shop. It's actually fucking crazy, but I get it. People are busy um, and I'm also busy, so I can't just uh, go here, go there, whenever, please. Uh, I have to try and organize it somehow, but we just pulled up. All right, uh, we're gonna run like a quick cinematic B-roll because while this is getting wrapped, I'm gonna shoot to the gym. See you guys in a little bit. 
I keep looking over here because that's where I am. You guys are today. Fuck it, I'm crossing the line today. These bitches will cry and be lying in your face. Facts. Slick of the nuts gotta know how they play. If the money went straight, you won't be here today. Ain't in my show, know what to say. You ain't me, so it's hard to relate. But how much cash I fuck off every day. Big bag. Don't play with me, baby. Go play with your pussy. <laughs> All of my brags turn to facts. All my brags turn to facts. All my hunters turn to racks. All my ladies turn to snacks. SUVs black on black on SUVs black on black. I was fucking up, but now I'm back on track. Hi guys, so as you seen last night, I got my car wrapped. That was meant to get done on Thursday, which is tomorrow. But then I got a call and said, "Yo, we can do it now." So I was like, "Fuck it." I ran down there, and then I only seen it for the first time in the daylight this morning, and I'm stoked. But we just pulled up the racing garage. They're gonna put the bonnet on for me, which they're doing at the moment. That's the old bonnet there. I'm gonna be selling that off very soon. We'll, we'll get rid of that. Everyone says, "Oh, you should keep the genuine parts," and it's like you do that if you're wanting to make money in the future. Like I get it, 100%. People want original stuff. I don't. I want. I want my car done up, and that's it. I ain't selling this bitch. And if I do, like I'll just cop the loss. That's fine. I don't want to keep like a whole car of spare parts in my garage. I don't have enough room. After we're done here, we're gonna head over to the car wash. Then we have. I spent like a thousand dollars on little small cosmetics, like um, the back splats, which is pretty much like side skirts for the back. Anyway, small things like that. But that's gonna be in the next video. But shout out to Roasting Garage. They're gonna hook me up um, with obviously this, but also all the engine work which is going to be in a future video that's going to be fun right now it's stock it looks pretty but it's stock and we're going to push like i think it's like up to 800 horsepower at the rear which is just yeah crazy crazy fast i think next i'm going to wrap the windows completely black and then tint the tail lights yeah that's what we're doing next i'm going to get that done next week we're going to wrap up here and then go to the car wash and then the rooftop and then my top, all my guns got standing man got put no tags up on my track all because i play Hi, boy she's on she looks fucking sick i just can't have the fucking the supercharged lid on it it doesn't fit so when that sits on the bonnet doesn't actually close so when that's on there like that the bonnet doesn't close because of these motherfuckers so i just gotta change the the top it's gonna go harrow head so another 1500 bucks to close the bonnet what's going on those are expensive boys they're a money pit but it'll look better it'll look better i'm back on track that's a fact yo yo i seen hitters turn around went from him to them cat member trim me in my track it's a v SUVs black on black. I see him talking to, can't wait to slam him out. Can't slap. Brr, brr, brr. All right, boys, you just pulled up to the car wash. How's she looking? I think it looks fucking tough, honestly. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, a little bit of a bug. Nah, I'm joking. All right, we're gonna wash this bitch up. I've never been to this car wash before. Some car washes are shit bro, like the, the water pressure ain't good. But hopefully this one's mad. I thought my car declined, how embarrassing. Alright, run like a cool car wash cinematic montage.